So we are here. Hello, it's Backseat Coaches. It's us, Hello. me and Ben, uh, recording in isolation. This is going to come up before the one we've just recorded, so I guess we should explain again. Uh, we are recording remotely um, for your pleasure. Not sure how well it'll go, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I guess we'll only know when you'll only know when you do the final edit, yeah. in which case it's too late by then and you'll have to release it. Well, I mean, I could just, just put them all in the bin and waste all this time, but I'm probably not going to do that. So <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how we go. Um, so this is this is going to be our new little mini series like we did the Sticker Boys last year. We're going to try and do one every day. We'll see how we get on, but we'll try and do one every day. Um, uh, it's a new podcast, little mini series called On This Day. When they were young, the world seemed so much fun. It's on this day with backseat coaches. So basically, we're just going to look at uh, a historic event that has happened on this day in history. Very simple. Um, but I don't know. I thought it'd be something something to listen to, in it? <laughs> Got to do something with your time. Yeah, it's not nothing. Exactly. So it's, uh... it's something. So, <laughs> so I'm going to kick off. On this day, 25th of March. And we're going to go all the way back more than 100 years to 1916. Ooh. And I think times must have been relatively similar in 1916 as they are now, possibly. Wartime. What? Plague. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> like, it's just before Spanish flu. So it's kind, of, it's kind of that sort of thing. So they would have known what the situation is like today. Uh, possibly a little bit different, but probably not too far. Um, but we're going to go to America, New York City. There was a boxing match for the heavyweight boxing title between Jess Willard and Frank Moran. Uh, Frank Moran was an Irishman. And Jess Willard was massive. This massive guy who just won the... He was the biggest ever at the time. Biggest ever heavyweight boxing champion. Um, they called him the Potawatomi Giant, which is a super <laughs> name. Uh, do you want to... <laughs> Frank Moran's nickname, not quite as good. He was called the Fighting Dentist. What was he a dentist? No one knows, but <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where that nickname comes from. I just found out that that was his nickname. Um, he wasn't much of a boxer, Frank Moran, really. Um, he challenged for the heavyweight championship about four years earlier. Got nowhere near it. Literally nowhere near. Like he was absolutely smashed. Um, but he was in line to have a fight against Jess Willard, the current champion. Um, Willard had just won the belt in 1915. Uh, so he was a newly crowned uh, heavyweight champion. This was the first defense of his championship. The fight kicks off, and apparently he was all over Moran. Like Jess Willard was six foot six tall, massive bloke. That's why they called him the Potawatomi Giant. Frank yeah. Moran was this tiny little Irishman. Couldn't like couldn't even get close. And you can, there's some video online of it. And you can just see, like, there's, there's no way. There's no way for him to get anywhere. <laughs> it's like Andrew Ruiz in the recent fight against Anthony Joshua. Like, he, just, he just can't get inside those massive arms. So yeah. like, everyone was expecting Willard to knock him out in the second round, they thought. And uh, Moran was wobbling, apparently, in the second round. Like, he'd been battered already by the second round. It was a 10-round match. And the fight eventually went the 10 rounds and was judged a draw by the judges Ooh. to much outcry. It controversial. Was extremely controversial. He had been massively built up in the press as this massive heavyweight fight. It was going to be huge for Willard. Willard was definitely going to win all the way. A lot of money gone on Willard to win the fight. It turns out that the fight was a fix and nobody knew for many, many years afterwards the fight was uh, fixed in a contract. They had a written contract that fixed the fight. And it's the, as a draw. As a draw. As a 10-round draw. The, apparently, <laughs> so apparently a lot of contracts had the words 10-round draw written into them as it was like just some sort of parlance of the day. Yeah. But this one was actually acted upon and they, they had a 10-round yeah. <laughs> draw written, stipulated in contract. So they had to have this 10-round draw that was fought out. It's the only time, pretty much the only time we've ever had any written documentation of match fixing. Uh, and <laughs> they were never punished for it because it only came to light a lot later on. Willard eventually went on to lose 
the uh, the heavyweight belt to Jack Dempsey, who was known as one of the sort of legends. Uh, I had a computer game. Uh, Muhammad was it Muhammad Ali? No, I don't think it was Muhammad Ali's boxing. It was like Mike Tyson's boxing or something on the Mega Drive. Uh, yeah. And it, it had Jack Dempsey. He was one of the sort of old school boxers that they had on, like Rocky Marciano. And uh, I can't remember who else. They had loads of sort of old boxers on. And Jack Dempsey was one of them. He was known yeah. as one of the most brutal fighters. And apparently Willard in that fight was rumoured to have broken his ribs, shattered his jaw, broken his nose, lost four teeth, and suffered partial hearing loss in one ear, Ugh. along with no numerous k- cuts and contusions. Uh, it was an absolute mauling, apparently. Dempsey was just way too good for Willard, who was the world champion at the time. So you can just, I guess, imagine how good Jack Dempsey was. Yeah. Um, uh, Moran, on the other hand, didn't really box anymore after that, but went on to star in movies in the fledgling movie industry. Uh, and became a, he was often cast as a henchman in sort of Americana movies. Uh, and he went on to star in over 100 movies. So that was yeah. interesting, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, this day in history marks one of the greatest fixes never to have been punished. So there. You learn something new every day you in learn isolation. Something new. <laughs> That's true. That can be our sign-off for this little podcast, can't it? <laughs> That's good. When they were young world seems so much fun it's on this day with backseat coaches